Things have changed in society, perhaps in the last, well, maybe let's say 50 years, maybe 40 to 50 years, where it was the, the, time, the days where pam families tend to have to say the phrase, the nuclear family. You know, Granny lived just down the road um, or was even lived with the family. She was a respected member of the family and people would, apart from just doing babysitting, she would be, she was an oracle in a way. People would go to her for advice and say, or she would offer advice, uh, not always welcome, but she, she was, the, she had a voice. Um, and then things changed a bit because life's moving on and everything, the faster pace and that sometimes older people feel a bit left behind. Well, the thing is, like, with Jack and the lady here and myself, we, we in our younger days, we knew peace. But then we knew five, six years of war. Then after, this, this city was bombed to heck, like several other cities in the country. We were bombed out three times. So we've seen a bit of variation where we was moved to, different areas. So, and hazing was, uh, you could rent anything then, because nobody was, <laughs> nobody wanted it. Yes. Then 14 I started work and been going ever since. Always, oh, yeah. I mean, when I left school, I started factories. So I went in the course of that. Yeah. <laughs> when me and Nick, we come in here, we, we think it's really welcoming and friendly and really nice environment. And I can see why people come in and, and want to be here to, to yeah. socialise. Do you think that um, the younger generation that come in or a benefit that uh, they're doing? Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah. I, the, the students, they've been very good, I think. Yeah, very what's your, good. What's your opinion on, on, on them coming in and helping out? I agree with it, yeah. Yeah. It broadens their mind and, and the other people like it anyway. Uh, today it's part of volunteering week, uh, but for the last few weeks we've had students coming in about a day a week, um, painting the internal rooms and the corridors of Age UK. It's the drop-in day centre for older people who are slightly isolated in the city. Um, our students do come here on a regular basis anyway to engage with activities of older people, but the painting project was a project asked for by the chief executive of Age UK here to brighten up the, the centre. It's a really lively centre, but it was a very horrible institutionalised pink colour everywhere and she really didn't like it, a lot of the users didn't really like it so we wanted to inject some colour into it because it's quite a lively building as you would have seen um, so we wanted the colours to reflect that. Why, why, uh, why do you volunteer? Um, I don't know, I just have, a, a, I'm, I'm karma hoarding, <laughs> you know, and uh, plus it's always like nice to like, you know, gain a few skills. I've never painted before and I was like, hey, I could learn something new and um, and then on top of that, it's I don't know, it's just something to do rather than study all the time. You know, like if you if you when you're in universe, when you're in life, basically, you get into a routine. It's like wake up, do something, and then you repeat for the rest of the day. Go back to sleep. So it's kind of nice to do something you don't usually do, and yeah, instead of like that routine sort of thing. Again, what got to be considered when it comes to young people coming to a place like this is the uh, generation gap. Yeah, if they're suitable. See, I mean, well, I've sat and talked Jack's, a, Jack's a grandfather. I'm not. I'm not. Barry's a great grandfather. I'm a great, I'm a great grandfather. Great grandfather. Yeah. There's, there's Thirteen times. Lovely young lady here. You wouldn't believe is also a great grandmother. Isn't it? Yeah, thirteen And they're times. only. Well, you could say, if schools were like they used to be, they probably only just left school. Yeah. And it's fine. difficult, you know. Yeah. For them to understand each other fully. Yeah. The elderly might understand the younger ones a bit more because they've had young ones themselves. But, but it's difficult for the young ones yeah. to always understand where the 
elderly are coming from. Right, I'll, you know what I mean? Yeah, if I speak, well, if you do, explain it to me. The, one of the big main, the main factors here in Age UK is young, younger generation coming in and helping mm. the older generation with technology. Yeah. Is that, do you think that's one of the main important things for you to educate them about? Um, oh, I don't know. I think it's 50-50 between interacting with the older generation and stuff. You know, I think it's 50-50 between teaching them and bringing them up to like the same level in technological knowledge with us. And at the same time, I don't know, it's just getting to know other people and getting getting rid of these boundaries. You know, it's like we have in in society in general. And I think a like you know the age age boundary is one is one people don't really realize it you know it's like how many old people do people know i mean their nans and stuff you know and it's it's a bit weird you know to like be friends with old people in society and stuff and it's just get rid of those boundaries yeah thank you very much for yeah. that thank no worries thank you yeah well to a degree i agree with the council because what what they do in here sometimes i think it's terrible now you take that monstrosity they built out there. I've felt it, I've been shown it. It must be costing them an absolute fortune because I don't think old Darren is doing it for nothing. Which monstrosity is that? It's a shade. shade. <laughs> you know what it is, don't you? What is it? You know the old containers? It's a shed, metal shed. Yeah, the containers you see on the dock sides. Yeah. One of them. <laughs> And you're not happy oh, with it? I've never We're happy with it. I've <laughs> never <laughs> we don't anybody care got to a, lose. Anyone got a spare hand grenade? <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the point. I don't care to lose. I've, 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 I don't know what no, these don't, containers don't worry me. Don't worry me. Sounds like you're a bit of safe. It's a, it's a square, oh. what you might call a square metal box. It could be square or blown or, you know. Yeah, but those bought shit. What does Age UK do and what's its purpose in the community? Age UK, uh, uh, there are various branches in every city, in most cities in Britain, and they, they're there for people that are older and they're in their later life. And they help people with information and advice and, and provide companionship for them in, in our day centres. Um, and for some people, if they've been isolated or depressed or for a long time, making a decision is is quite a it's quite a it's difficult for them. And unless somebody notices them, and hopefully that is increasing, that more people are aware that there is a problem for older people living on their own who are isolated. Uh, if you were sitting, if you didn't have AJK, you'd be sitting home and not doing anything. So, are you glad that it's here for some of you to go and talk to people? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, no, he heard. said, if you didn't come here, you'd be, would you be sitting at home? Yeah. So, it's, so it's that lifeline to, to, to have something to do with our company. Now, it's all right. I'm fine. For the companionship. That's the only reason why I'll come in the now. It's lovely to come in and talk to someone. Yeah. 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 I lost the wife four years ago, then I discovered age concern. I just was walking to Asda and popped in, see if they sold cups of tea, and they did, and I've been coming ever since. And I became a house owner. So, your role here, what is your role when you when you come to Age UK? Just a helper, helper. And uh, I help them organise, the play games or anything. The very first time they come in, and they're naturally nervous because it's a strange situation. And they sit down, and it's a bit like you take your coat off. Well, they're taking their nervousness off, and they'll sit, and they'll listen. And then they'll say something, and they'll join in a little bit, and then they'll have a little bit of a laugh. And this carries on, it, it goes at its own pace. Sometimes it can happen in one day. Sometimes it might take two or three days, or even a week. But there is a sense of, instead of being, having, you know, this, this coat on, this, this, this tense, this, this bud, it opens up, and it is like flowering. Oh, never. If, if you didn't have it, 
it'd be worse. Mm. Yeah. Where would you go? Well, that's quite true. Yeah. Just sit at home on your own. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's a bit, a bit twee, man, a rosebud analogy, but it's the, it's just the way it is. It's just wanting to see. It's like watching somebody flower. How are you, mate? You good? Not too bad. Good. Do you want me best side or me work side? Any side you want, you look good. <laughs> you know, in the old cable films, they usually go, if somebody's wanted, yeah. they've usually got a poster. Sorry, that wanted dead or alive. There was a western film on the other day that had up there, wanted in any condition. <laughs> <laughs> Rather amuse me. Am I for you or for you? No, 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 I'll see you later. Yeah, right. I'll come, we'll come chat to you again later on, Ron. Yeah, right on. Cheers, mate. Uh, we've got representatives from ASDA, and we've got uh, we're working with Groundwork Solon, who are working with uh, Dulux on the project. So we've got them as well here today, and of course our own students from university. There's all the different colours on the walls and the, the murals. Um, and we, 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 it is, we've had lots of comments, particularly in the dining area. It was, I mean, you can see the difference. I mean, it's just really bright and they've got the, the nice curtains up at the windows and, and everything. So it's made a tremendous difference down there. When you come in here, you've been coming in here quite a lot with different projects. And you've got to know some of the people here. Um, and so it's you you maybe remember some of their names and you yeah. can talk to, refer to them by the name and they will remember you oh yes those are the, the, the chaps that come in and, and, and film us and, and record us so there's a, a, bit, a things grown up there and quite often people refer after you've gone or the other students have gone they'll they'll say oh it's just like having the grandchildren around now that's a great compliment to to, to the youngsters that have come in but it's something that we yes we do need to continue to do that and keep that up, um, because life's moving on and everything the faster pace and that sometimes older people feel a bit left behind. But you you're bringing them back into it again. There's the intergenerational work. Hello, Ron. What are you thinking of all the painting? What are you thinking of all the painting? I try not to. <laughs> I'll, uh... I think they're doing no, a good job. No, no, it's just quite pleasant. It is pleasant, yeah. It's better than pink, isn't it? Pardon? Better than the pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's, 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 it's very nice. It, it really is, though. Yes. I'll say, I'll say little things and silly little jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. If you haven't got a sense of humour, it's not worth being here, is it, eh? That's right. You tell them, you tell them, my love. You saw the man. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. I'll see, see you later. next week, Ron. Yeah, no, it's... Will you be around next week? Yes, next Thursday, mate. Oh, next Thursday. Well, I'll see you then. See you, mate. See you later. Cheerio. Cheerio, Dan. The intergenerational things, are, I would say, is the most important um, area. And it's it's just it's sort of a win-win situation. Um, they, they gain the experience of working with an older generation. Um, and I haven't yet come across a student that hasn't got something positive from being here. Um, what you put into it, you know, you'll get, the more you put in, the more do it, the more you'll get out of it.